Alrighty folks, well, uh, I've got managed to get out. Uh, I didn't get out last week. Um, I didn't go down to the Secret River. What I've done is I've been down and prospected a, a new stretch of river, a different river. And uh, I found gold on it. Uh, I don't know whether I'll be going back there very often. If it will be, it'll be a week there, but you'll see why. Or I'll explain why. And I also tested my new um, alcohol stove, Trangia Mini. Uh, I took some stuff fresh from the garden, fresh from the birds' bottoms, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> and uh, found some mushrooms and made myself a little bit of a cook up in the woods. So, a little bit of an adventure and a gold prospecting trip. I'll shut up because it might be a long one and I'll get on with it. It's nice to be nice. So, guys, a little bit of an adventure. I've come to a different stretch of river. I think I've worked this river in another part. Again, it's only, I'm about 15 minutes away from where I live. That's the river down there. I just come up here into the forest. Although it's all steep, it's a big massive bank. I just came in here, just to see if I could see if there are any mushrooms. <laughs> As I was here, scouting. Plenty of other food, if you like. Uh, Escado. I spotted about ten of these guys. They're big. And protected. This is river. I haven't got my gear on yet. I parked just up there. Um, I've just seen a nice sized trout as it goes. But they're off at menu too. Not allowed to fish in here. Bugger. I'm just gonna have a look further down here. See if there's a suitable place to get down to the river and maybe try a few pans. I'm only panning. I don't want to dig like a crazy boy today. I worked all uh, I worked yesterday at home doing some stuff. Started building some fitted wardrobes. But I can't uh it might be an interesting spot there on the pebbles as it goes. But I can't uh, make noise as it's Sunday. So that stop play or give me opportunity to play. Some nice sized fish in here. I don't know if you can see that there. Just under them under that dip there, there's about three or four. I think they've buggered off now because of me. I can't see them anymore. Yeah. There's one. A bigger one than that. So I'm gonna have a go here. This is sort of there's a curve that comes around there off the road, it comes along and runs through here. And it's depositing here more than anywhere. Where them trout there are just around that corner there, further around. But road's just there. There's nothing depositing here. So there's nothing depositing here, so I'll try that, that looks like first place. I'm just gonna get my pan, I mean small shovel, just do a few test pans, see what I get. Say, so, I'm not here to <laughs> if I dug all day anywhere here, I'm never gonna get rich, so why hurt yourself? Alright then, let's have a look here. So he drops off in there and pan into that. Money panning, not slu well, sluices ain't car. <laughs> I'm picking up a lot of gold, it won't be difficult to get sluice running here. But what I'm hoping is happening here is it's coming off that corner and pushing along this edge. So, what I'll do is I'll just take a couple of pans along this edge, start at that end, and just have a look, see what we've got, if anything. So oh, first pan, success, it's three pieces, very 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 tiny, tiny and just a little bit bigger than tiny, but three pieces in one pan, just there, where we're saving the shovel off, so I'll try a few more pans across a little bit, see if it picks more up or less up or none up, I'm not expecting this gold to be deep, I'm sure this is just flood gold where it's laying up along edge. So, I'll do one of a few more pans and get me snuff a bottle out. Found a new little spot which might be okay. Don't think I'll be sluicing.
So guys, second pan. It's another three pieces. You can see them, focus. There's another three tiny little pieces in there. So it's all right, and that's just again, same spot. Uh, and a couple, couple of rolls across here. And I'm just going to dig down these bigger pebbles. Simple re reason is they should have collected some gold. Just easy gold. So I'll give them a try, but I'll take a few more pots across here. One thing in that's interesting there is, see how this is all concreted. I'd like to find an inside curve with that. Put good gold along the bottom of them. Just stopped, can't go anywhere, but I doubt there's going to be anything along there. Um, what I found interesting, this has got concrete bottom, or it could be a rock. It's a flat bottom here. So, if I were to come and do this, with um, sluice then, pumps and mag must. And I'll also do a couple of tests further down, just to see if there's any more of that concrete. Because if there is, then it's worth just cleaning that back. You know. And again, there's another one there. There's actually two in there. Another one's floated away, but it were tidy. But it's in there somewhere. And that, we'll just maybe three foot away from that. The one at the middle. Might just do one from behind one at rocks first for a laugh, see what's down there. I just took two out of there. That rock was there. I took two from under it and around it, but nothing. So I know it's along this edge. I'll do a few more. I'll do a pan in between them two holes where I've just dug and see what sort of results I get. But that area has got, well, that area's got gold in it. I don't know about this. I'll do a few more tests along here and then I'll go and do something completely different. So it's pretty consistent. Another two. And that's just in between them two spaces I've dug. So I'm picking gold up across that sort of metre. I'm just going to run a couple more down here and then I'll probably go. I might do is build myself a little prospecting sluice because as winter's coming, I can't really dig. I, although we're not at the end of the season now, I've just haven't got energy to be honest. <laughs> um, so <coughs> I might just knock myself up a little prospector's uh, sluice. It's much easier than pan for pan, pan for pan and it's your bike. And I've just also noticed that this is a public path up here. Some people have just walked past it in to spot me, but as nice a place as it is, there's gold here. Probably won't be somewhere I'll be digging all day because people walking past all day. You know? I like a good privacy. So it's pretty consistent. I've got three. I just took a pan there. I took a pan there. I've got nails and lead. I took a pan there. Got three pieces. Which are in there. Again, it's all really small. I've just been busted anyway. Somebody's come across there, so I'm gonna pack it in here. It'd be worth sluicing, I think. I mean, if you're getting three a pan, it's easy digging. So, sluicing it would be all right. So it's just that problem with people who are walking past, or finding ask you questions and all that, blah, blah, blah. A weekday would be good, rather than a weekend. I don't get many weekdays free. That made a noise when it came down. Looks like it's exploded. That's unreal. And when people ask me what I like about gold washing and gold prospecting, this you also find interesting things you know tracks from animals and spore from different things found something here that tells me something quite significant a pair of underpants now that could tell me that somebody got caught short in the woods had to have a poop 
and wiped their bum with their pants and left them behind. Now, although I am a little bit early in the season, search and you shall find. That's just what I'm looking for. So, another reason for prospecting, why I like it. Well, this is new to me. I've cooked on a gas stove, cooked on uh, on fires, open fires, but this is really handy. This is that little Tangier Mini. I'll have this just going a little bit. I'm just going to boil some water, make a brew. Mushrooms fresh from the from the <laughs> forest. Eggs fresh from the bird's bottom. I've only got half a dozen. That was this morning's haul. And all fresh from the garden, including the onion. And a bit of bread. And yeah, go. So I'm just going to have a little bit of a omelette type thing going on. And give me a chance to test this out. So, a bit of tomato, a bit of land jäger, some wild mushrooms, six eggs from quail. Um, I didn't use the non-stick pan because I've only got a metal spoon. So one thing I do need to have is a wooden spatula. Just more of a scrambled egg sort of omelette thing going on. I've got some bread and I'm sure it's going to be very nice. We've eaten about 18 quail eggs yesterday between us. So I'm pleased I got six this morning. So guys, that's the result. Now it's not much obviously because I weren't just digging for gold all day. Uh, it was a bit of fun. There's about 15, 20 pieces there. What I picked up with pan. That place wouldn't be bad, but my issue with that place is it's too public. It would only be good for for me if it were a weekday because there's just too many people wandering past but it's gold I had a golden time So John Lennon do you think Ringo's the best drummer in the world? I don't think he's even the best drummer in the band <laughs>